In Cuba, though time has not stood still, it certainly has moved more slowly. During the sugar harvest season, which lasts from January to May, about 300 steam locomotives on four different gauges are fired up to bring in trainloads of cane and perform switching duties at the sugar mills. Most of these engines would look right at home in the United States for the simple reason that they were built in the U.S. by Baldwin, Alco, Porter, and other American manufacturers. As a socialist state, Cuba is a contrast to the neighboring Caribbean islands and is a distant 90 miles south of Florida. After the Cuban Revolution in 1959 and the nationalization of businesses in Cuba, the United States imposed an embargo against Cuba, which is still in force today. In early 1996, Pentrex traveled to Cuba to videotape these aged American steam locomotives. So take a trip back in time and join Pentrex as we present Cuba Steam. Make no mistake, if U.S.-Cuban relations had been one degree warmer than frosty, steam would have disappeared years ago. One key to the survival of steam and of the sugar railroads themselves is the acopio, a large cane-cutting machine located out in the fields. Here, trucks and tractor-hauled wagons dump their loads. As the cane is chopped into small pieces, drops and fans remove and blow away the cane waste, which is then burned. When a steam engine stops to set out a string of empties or pick up some loaded cars, the aroma of burning cane mingles with the smell of oil smoke drifting on the Caribbean breeze. Until the introduction of this mechanical cane cutter, which can fill a cane car in about 15 minutes, the rail transport of sugar cane was in danger of yielding to trucks. Fortunately, rubber tires and steel wheels have been combined to create a more efficient operation, since the cane now arrives at the mill ready for crushing. And at some sugar mills, or centrales, trains supply the crusher 24 hours a day. 